All right, we are live, Nate. Right. We have a sneak peek, something really cool, so you guys are gonna love this. Okay. First, first, take a look at this. Okay. This is called a Resbani tank. I don't know anything about it, but it looks like a tank. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, but look at what we're doing behind it. This is an Arceus motive. Okay. So we've been waiting a long time to be be here in person with the loaded. So, double axle. This is a toy hauler. You can fit, as you can see over here, two seater side by side. Okay. So, the garage is 12 feet long. Can I go to Arizona to get away? Yeah, no, I can't get away. Yeah, so get it in here. The garage is 12 feet long and it can hold 3,500 pounds. Let's come, come, come on up. Okay. Above me, we have a queen size bed. It comes down on the lift mechanism. Okay, let's. And underneath, gonna... this converts into a California king size bed. Okay, this guy right here. Yeah, so you have a table that sits right here and will convert down into a, a full size bed down here. And this is a queen size bed. Okay, so we can easily sleep four people. And if you wanted to... If you wanted to get cozy, you could sleep six. Yeah, on so, this king-size bed down yeah, here. Yeah. So they're also going to be extending these benches so that they're two full twin yeah. mattresses. Yeah, they'll, and, they'll come out to about right here. So it'll be two twins, and then you can still fill in the middle to make it a, a California king. Yeah. yeah. And then up here is the queen-size bed. Okay, so what else... Well, this is an induction stove top. Okay. Which is awesome because you don't have propane over here. You don't have a flame. It's just induction. And this whole table folds down up against the wall. Okay, let's see. Oh, nice. Yep. So this is... So that way you can fit all your toys in here. So we can fit a, a two-seater side-by-side in here. Yep. Got a table there. The induction stove top and counter space. Yeah, come check this out. Okay. Here's your pantry. A slide out pantry. A soft close. Nice. Oh, it's on its own. And in here, you have a nice big storage. Okay. And take a, take a peek what's back there. Okay. This guy right here. That is a biometric gun sink. Okay, let's so open it up. You can fit six. Hey, so we've got a, an off-road toy hauler with a built-in safe that can fit six rifles and a little guy up there that we can put Nate's piggy bank in. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Here's the fridge. Okay. And they put it here so that you can access the fridge inside or outside. How do you how do you access it from the outside? Oh, I see. And then you can open up the fridge. Okay, okay. Yeah. I got it. And that locks in. We yeah. Have, um, these channels they run the whole length of the trailer, so you can strap down your gear. Okay, your yeah. Just, it's, they're, they're very. It's just very utilitarian. It's, yeah. You know, it's modular. You can kind of do whatever you want. Lots of windows. Okay. There's tons of storage, which is really nice. So they have above head storage for towels and other stuff. And uh, this is only the prototype, but they're going to be putting um, some doors on there so that it won't get wet. Hello. Got a nice mirror here. Let me open that for you. Oh, yeah. And that's all. They're going to be putting shelves in here as well. Okay. So just like the RKS Purpose, what's cool about the toilet is that it uses gray water. So you're not using all your fresh water. Yeah. You can recycle the gray water. And this is a macerator toilet. So you don't have to empty it with a traditional RV sewer hose. Yeah. You can use a garden hose. So you have 70 gallons of fresh water, 20 gallons of gray, and 60 gallons of black water. That's crazy. It is crazy. So. How's it going? Hi, how are you? 
So we're here inside. I've got four people inside. I'm six four. Six four. Yeah. Six. Oh, yeah. You are a small man. Sheesh. And this folds down as well, so we put the table in there. Anything else you want to see, Josh? Well, this is nice. He's. I mean, we've got now one, two, six people in here, and we've got tons of room. Crazy thing is, this trailer is only twenty feet long. It's twenty feet long and forty-one hundred pounds, which is so insane. You could, yeah, you could pull this with a mid-sized truck. Yeah, so that's. If you have a toy back here, if you have a two-seater side by side, you'll need you'll need a full-size truck. Yeah, but so what a what are they using for the AC unit? This is a twelve volt. I forget the brand. Well, let's see. Uh, Mabra. Twelve volt. Mabra. Yeah, high efficiency air conditioning unit. So it's a 12 volt AC use, uh, unit, which is super unique. Yeah. The, the roof is all reinforced, so you can have 2,000 pounds on the roof. Okay. Just, you can have a party. You yeah. Have nine people up on the roof. And then I think they said that there would be additional storage in the floor. Yes. So the batteries are also in the floor right here. Underneath this mat. Yeah, again, this is a, their first model, their prototype. So they're going to have some hatches with storage in the floor for all your gear. Yeah. yeah. You have your furnace exhausts over here. Okay, we've got some vents here. Some vents there and some vents there. Some the vents furnace. here. Oh, you're fine. Oh, take a look at this. So this is your Victron Connect where you can monitor everything. We've had all the lights on all day and we're still at 100%. How is that possible? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's not turning on, but okay. Truma, yeah. Truma furnace, Truma water heater. That's just for the stereo. Yep. Oh yeah, the speakers. How do we turn those on? Those are cool. What's this? We, were, we had it on earlier. So. Oh yeah. yeah. They just light up blue and it looks cool. I'm a huge fan. Yeah. Just so much room. It's insane how much room is in this trailer. Absolutely insane. It's a 20-foot toy hauler that will actually fit a side-by-side, -side, which is just insane. We're going to jump... Uh... Look at the awning as well. Okay. So the awning... So nothing is screwed into these walls. They use these T-tracks, and you can mount things to the T-tracks. So tell me about this awning. So it's Dometic. Um, it has a wind sensor. <laughs> I don't know too much else. It's an electric awning and it doesn't have any legs. Yeah, which is really shocking because it's, it's sturdy enough on its own to not need legs. Yeah. So it does have a wind sensor, so it will come in if it's windy. Oh, nice. Nice little recessed lighting. And... Uh, some disc brakes in there and uh go up inside so they're not hanging down yeah these are solid steps lots of clearance i think they said 20, 20 inches. inches 20 yeah. inches of clearance on a toy hauler and we have the mc hitch oh yeah let's hitch. see we know a little bit about that hitch we might be biased oh yeah this is the this is a massive storage compartment in here Ooh. and uh, in the front they have a nice storage compartment as well yeah that's what the box is right there right yeah this guy over here this all opens up into storage Ugh. so big storage compartment in the front pretty cool very nice I'm impressed so let's see here the suspension solid axles you have to have solid axles in order to support all this weight yeah yeah you can go to independent suspension but as soon as you do you don't have enough uh, weight bearing capacity so solid yeah. axles on this okay leaf springs all and right you have 12 inch disc brakes yeah and the height of the unit is about 10 and a half feet i think so length is 20 feet, width is... Width, overall, <laughs> I'm just looking oh, at Oh, okay, this here thing. we go. Here we so, are. So, 
overall width is eight foot two, but that's because of the fenders. Okay. So interior is seven feet one inch. So really, the overall what? Yeah, the overall. Oh, that's width because is we, probably seven feet four inches. That's insane. But with the fenders. It that's insane. It so the interior width is only seven feet, but that's because we have a lot of trailers that are total seven feet yeah. wide. Yeah, a lot of so our just, trailers are six and a half feet on the inside. It just is. Uh, it feels so big in there. Yep. That's crazy. So let's see here. Let's see if we can. And so. This is, this is the one we've been looking at. Yeah, so HD. that's the model that's actually here. Let's see here. Um, yeah, up to 480 amp hours of battery down there. And overall trailer height is nine feet, six inches. So it's not even 10 feet. Here's a crazy one. Dry weight. How about that? 4,100 pounds on the HD single axle which may or may not end up happening is only 3600 pounds but on this trailer 4100 pounds insane absolutely insane yeah what do you guys want to see i'll stay yeah, live for a little bit longer if there's something you guys want to see i'll maybe go look under the trailer so you can see what that is They've got skirts all the way underneath. So, it's metal. Okay, well, I think that'll do it. Ah. There you are. Resvani. That's the vehicle. So, that's a very unique vehicle. I want to say... Is there 170,000? Uh, they told me like 450. That's for the, the apocalypse version. Yeah, the bulletproof. The bulletproof version, yeah. Uh, yes, Anthony. It does have solar panels. It's going to come stock. 430 watts. 430 watts. And then you can upgrade to 800. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, keep the questions coming. See if I can get a better view of what that front looks like there. That angular look is really good. Good color. I'm thinking, yeah. I think me and Nate both agree we'd like to see the fenders all black. Yeah, that'd look nice. See if I can get another view from the back here. So this is, um, with the upgraded solar panels, um, honestly, I think you, the base version is about 80, and then it goes up from there. So if you just wanted to upgrade the solar panels, you'd probably be, I, I don't know, somewhere in the 80s. This is the, yeah, I agree. That'd look nice. So I just can't get over like, I've been in here s several times today, just how much space there is. It's insane how many people we've had inside of this unit. It's only 20 feet long. It's just crazy. These cabinets are all really nice. They use everything Victron. Everything is Victron in here. Inside kitchen with nice counter space and then everything folds so that you can fit your side by side in here. It's pretty sweet. So, okay, everybody. Thanks for joining and uh, make sure to send us um, emails let us know what you think if you have any additional questions. This unit, they are taking pre-orders now. Uh, it's going into production immediately. You should be able to have one of these by the fall if you were to put in an order. Um, again, any questions at all, send it our way. Thanks, guys.